Hello Autodesk people and welcome back to the continuation of our tips and tricks video series on fabrication parts in Revit 2017. In the last video installment what we discussed was the ability to add tags for our hangers and um, unfortunately it doesn't exist. I haven't found a place where they exist. Uh, you'll have to create them so uh, check that video to see how, how that works and uh, some of the limitations of, of of the fabrication hangers in the 2017 product. Okay, so the next question, now that we've seen how to do the tags, let's transition to the next um, tips and tricks portion of our video series here. Um, and that's simple, that's uh, can you add tags um, that demonstrate the service of what we're looking at. Okay, so let's do this. Let's add another tag from, from our annotation here. Let's add a tag to the ductwork, okay? And I'll just kind of place the tag out here. Awesome. All right, so we've got the tag, but we're really what I want, I want this tag to, to have the um, uh, the service abbreviation after the, 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 the diameter size here, okay? So how do we do that? So the way we will do that is we have to modify the tag itself. So if you click on the tag, you can go edit the family, okay? You can edit the family, and what you want to look at is the label itself. So, of course, if, you, if you're not used to tags, you're, what you're seeing here is uh, the crosshairs. These are the different planes for, for the y-axis and the plane for the x-axis. And where they intersect, that defines the origin of where your tag is going to be inserted. So if I look at this tag, um, maybe what I want to do is I want to um, change this tag so that not only does it include the size but it will also include the fabrication service abbreviation you can see that here so I can add that in now if I just do the size and the fabrication abbreviation it's gonna look awfully odd so I, I, I kinda wanna expand this to show you what I'm talking about so it's gonna say size so it'll be 14 inches and then it's gonna say um, like for the supply air, it's going to say SA, 14 inch diameter SA. What I want is I want to add a dash between these. Okay, so I'll edit the label and I'll add a dash. So I want to add a spacebar, dash, spacebar. So I just hit spacebar, dash, spacebar. And what that will do is it'll give me a nice little break between the size and the fabrication service abbreviation. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, load and load into project and close this file and it's asking me by default do you want to save this uh, do you want to save this and I say yes I want to save it I'll put it on my desktop and I'll hit save okay so now that it's into my project you, what you'll notice is that the tag itself um, it's it's it already exists in the in the project. What do you want to do here? So I want to I want to existing I want to overwrite the existing version and its parameter values. I want to overwrite all of it. All right. So what you're seeing here, let me let me get the hook line here um, moved over a little bit. What you're seeing here is the 14 inch diameter dash SA. So where does that SA come from? And um, Maybe I just wanted to say uh, something something different. I don't I don't know, but where does this abbreviation come from? And by default, um, I've already modified this, but by default this is off. So I want to show you how you would go about modifying that. Now you can do this in Fabrication Camduct. So here's Camduct. I can go to the service, which is Supply Air, and I can. I can see the listing of all the services in this uh, in this configuration, but next what I want to do is I want to go look at the service information. And here is the abbreviation of SA. So I can remove this. I'll hit OK. And when I go um, back to the, my Revit environment, and let's go ahead and update the services. Let's go ahead and update the figure the the, the configuration for Imperial you'll see that these are ghosted items but that they will turn black once it has been refreshed as you can see they're solid black now I'll hit OK so the service 
will go in and figure this out. Now by default, this is the this is the mode that you're going to see. There's typically there are no service abbreviations in the Autodesk default uh, configurations for each one of those services. So again, I went to Camduct and I changed it in Camduct, but I really do want to have the the system abbreviation. So let's go back to Fabrication CAD MEP, not Camduct. This time we're going to do it in Fabrication CAD MEP. So I'll go to my rectangular um, uh, group here, and I can see I've got Supply Air. I've got that Edit Service Database button in the same spot. And uh, let me expand this a little bit so we can see this a little more clearly. So Supply Air, we want to go look at the service information. And let me expand this one as well. And the abbreviation, let's just type SA, um, and then hit OK. So we, we can modify that database. We can modify the services in any of the fabrication products. And when you don't have to have Camduct, you don't have to have Fabrication Academy P, but it has to be one of the three fabrication products in order for that to work. Um, and finally, you know, we will go back and uh, look at reloading this configuration. And once those go from ghosted items to solid black, um, I know that that configuration has been added and that's why you see the difference here between um, the the tag reading the, the the abbreviation the service abbreviation so how do we do that and that's again that's not in Revit we have to modify the database and the services and you saw what I did here was I modified it in two different places in fabrication CAD MEP and then I also did it in fabrication camduct so you can do that in any of the fabrication products, as you can see, and it, it will affect Revit once you reload the, uh, the configuration. So that concludes the technical portion of this tips and tricks on fabrication parts in Revit 2017. Stay tuned for the continuation of our video series here.